journey into space. Max and Rosie had been given another important mission. They went to the lab at the space center to find out more. It says here where to fly into space in a rocket to reach the International Space Station, said Rosie, reading the instructions. Sounds awesome. Why? asked Max. To take some seedlings to the scientists on board the ISS, replied Rosie. Doesn't say what they're for though. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Before they could go into space, Rosie and Max had to do a lot of training. First they had to learn how to fly the rocket. Watch out! cried Max. Rosie swerved out the way of a pretend satellite. Phew, missed it, she said. Then they dived in the space centre swimming pool to practice wearing their space suits. At the bottom of the pool, they explored a replica of part of the ISS. Finally, they flew in a plane that climbed thousands of metres high, then suddenly dived down. As the plane went into freefall, Max and Rosie became weightless, just like they would in space. I think I'm going to like zero gravity, chuckled Max, as he did a somersault. After all their training, Max and Rosie were finally ready to go into space. At last, when the fuel tanks were full and all the last checks had been made, the engine started to rumble. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off! shouted Max and Rosie together. The booster's engines roared. Max and Rosie clung on tightly as the rocket blasted up through the Earth's atmosphere. Thunk! What was that? asked Rosie. Max peered out through the porthole. Don't worry, he said. It's just the boosters dropping away. We've used up the fuel that we needed for liftoff, so there's no point in carrying extra weight. Clunk! There goes the core of the rocket, said Max, as they continued whizzing up and up. Finally, the last part of the rocket dropped away, leaving just the capsule where Rosie and Max sat. It's dark up here, said Max. Rosie and Max looked through the porthole at the earth spinning slowly on its axis far below. Wow! They gasped. White clouds swelled over rippling blue oceans. They could see ridges of mountain ranges running through bright green rainforests and vast yellow deserts. It's beautiful, Max whispered. Rosie nodded. They both suddenly felt very small and very far from home. There's the space station. Let's go, said Rosie. Rosie took the controls and carefully navigated towards the International Space Station. This is the tricky bit, she said. She steered the capsule slowly towards the docking module on the ISS, inching closer and closer until... Clang! The capsule clicked into place, linking safely with the docking module. Rosie and Max undid their seatbelts opened the hatch and floated into the ISS. Welcome aboard, cheered the astronauts. My name's Alice, said one of them. Come and look around. These are the sleeping pods, said Alice, pointing to a snoozing astronaut who was strapped to the wall. Here's the treadmill. Without gravity, our muscles get weak easily so we exercise for two hours every day. And here's the canteen. Alice gave them satches of space food. Max squeezed the sachet and a drop of liquid spun slowly upwards. Wow, he cried and caught the droplet in his mouth. And finally, this is the lab where we do our experiments, said Alice, 
We're using the seedlings you brought to find out how things grow in space. They'll help us work out how to make clean air and water here in orbit. Wow, whispered Rosie. That's a big job for ti such tiny seedlings. Suddenly, an alarm blared. Red light starts flashing. Beep beep, beep beep. Oh no, a micrometer has punctured one of the solar panels, said Alice. Can you two fix it? Sure, said Max and Rosie, putting on their space suits. The two explorers went out through the airlock and carefully made their way towards the solar panels. They unscrewed the damaged section and replaced it with a shiny new panel. Oops, said Rosie as she put the drill down and it floated away. Good thing it's attached to my spacesuit. When they got back inside the station, it was time for Max and Rosie to head back to Earth. They went through the hatch into their capsule. Thanks for all your help, said Alice. The ISS drifted into the distance as their capsule started to fall towards Earth. The part of the capsules that weren't needed fell away, leaving Max and Rosie in the snug descent module. Soon they were plummeting down through Earth's atmosphere. The outside of the module blazed red hot. I'm glad we're safely in here, said Rosie. At last, the parachute opened with a whoosh. Whee, Rosie and Max shouted. They landed in a grassy field with a bump, bump, thud. Rosie pulled herself out of the little hatch, then helped Max haul himself out. Now I miss zero gravity, she giggled. A crowd of scientists was waiting for them where they had landed. Well done Rosie and Max, they cheered. How was space? Rosie and Max looked at each other and grinned. It was out of this world, they said together. <laughs>